And thanks for checking in as we take a look at your national coast to coast forecast. Meteorologist Todd Nelson we have a tropical update for you. The eastern Pacific, uh, quite a bit more active than the Atlantic Basin here so far this season. Heat concerns showing up across parts of the country. We also have some severe weather and also some flood potential showing up as well. So here is the view of Hurricane Hillary as of early Tuesday, Category 2 storm earlier this morning. Uh, pretty decent uh, clock, uh, counterclockwise circulation there with an eye trying to show up. Uh, but drifting west could become a major hurricane at some point today. If that is the case, that would be the second major hurricane in the eastern Pacific this season. The other one was Fernanda, which uh, drifted out uh, almost to the Hawaiian Islands, at least the remnants of which. And then the uh, next hurricane to the west of that is Irwin. We also have Tropical Storm Greg continuing there even farther west than that. As we get closer to home, heat advisories have been posted from Minnesota all the way down to Texas. Our heat indices today could be topping out into the triple digits. We still have this ridge of high pressure in place, showers and storms developing in the outer periphery of that, but we do have some big changes coming up as we approach the end of the month and early August. A chunk of colder air sliding into the central U.S., but it is going to be warmer across the western half of the country. That's where we have flash flood watches still uh, through the day today, through the inner mountain west over the lower Mississippi Valley as well. So monsoon storms, kind of the uh, primary reason for the flash flood potential there. Best chance of severe weather today in the upper middle west from South Dakota to Minnesota and Wisconsin. In fact, an enhanced risk of severe weather there today. By uh, Wednesday, showers and storms starting to march into Des Moines, Iowa, Milwaukee, Chicago, even into St. Louis, and then by Thursday from Cincinnati to D.C., New York, uh, even into the mid-Atlantic states. So again, showers and storms breaking out in the outer periphery, that big dome of hot weather. That's where you can have some isolated flood concerns as well. Temperatures today, though, in St. Louis at 91, same for Denver.